Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the crew, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new, but if you're already a part of the crew, so cool. So today we're gonna to be talking about this device called the T-Mobile Revel 4 Plus. And I, I did pick this thing up at a really affordable price. You can, it's like a T-Mobile phone. It's actually owned by T-Mobile and well, not owned by them, but I think TCL made it for T-Mobile specifically. And this is like literally the price of this. I couldn't believe it, but it was only released last year in August 27th. So it's almost, it's pretty much like one year old at this point, right? So it's not, it's got Android, I believe, 10 on there but i'm gonna see if there's like any updates available with this thing let me just kind of open this up and see what comes inside of the box so put this off the side so this is actually renewed right here it says hi there i'm your new i'm your new like new amazon renewed device nice to meet you and then it just tells you about the renewed program but you can see this device does come with uh, um, you are eligible for 24 a day. So that, that's pretty cool. It does come with a brick and it does come with a charging port and a SIM remover tool as well. So those are the three things that it does come with. You get the Type-C, the travel adapter. So pretty much everything you would need. And then they put it in this bubble wrap packaging. All right, cool. So it's got like a matte back to it with a, the power button is actually highlighted red. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that while we get started. And I, I'm kind of curious to see what it says. T-Mobile Rev, Revel 4 Plus. So it's got Type-C on the bottom. It's got headphone check at the top, volume rockers and power button on the same side right here, which is pretty cool to see. That's the T-Mobile sound that you do get. And this is a 720 display, but I heard really good things about this device. It has like a low battery right now, but it still has juice. Um, and it, it doesn't have that like, you know, let me just show you the setup because there was no setup process right here. It looked like somebody had already been using it. So let me just kind of see what, what happens when you go into this thing. Let's go to text messages to see that's cleared out okay rcs message tips active inactive it tells you the number of people who have read your messages in the chat easy to see context as well easy to group if you go to settings right here in the messages it has that rcs messaging so you could read the type you could see when people are typing and they know when you receive the message and stuff like that. You also do have your Wi-Fi, do not disturb flashlight, Wi-Fi calling, backlit power key, right here. Backlit power key, that's, I don't know what that is. NFC is on board this device. And even though the screen on the on a sheet of paper, it says 720, it looks like it's 1080, but it's an IPS LCD at 6.5 inches. It's got 720 by 1440, 18 by nine aspect ratio, 247 for the PPI. So pretty good right there. And then it also does have a six megapixel camera as well as a five megapixel on there as well. And the front camera is a 16 megapixel. So let's just go into settings. 28% battery right out of the jump. The jump. And um, you can see right here, we go to system updates. There is a system update on here, so it's gonna download right off the, the jump. Um, let's go to developer options was on. I'm not sure why that was on. I'm turning that off, right? And then let's see. So that shouldn't have been on, but it was on. And then let's see right here, you have security March, 2021, which is pretty recent. And let's, let's see what it says right here. So it's updating the system software. We can hit, what is it saying? Oh, so there's no, I didn't, I didn't connect to the Wi-Fi, So that's why it's not gonna download, right? So what else do we have on here? So if you go to storage, 
right here you can see that there's no photos on here but it does take up 13 out of the 64 as security we do have your swipe to unlock as well as pin password pattern face key as well and then inside of your system we do have something called system updates gestures three, three gap navigation buttons is on here as well and then everything like that so let's go to battery you can see we have the battery percentage the screen performance on here we also do have display where we have reading mode and we do have the dark theme as well you can turn that on an adaptive brightness and things of that nature so the device does feel pretty cool you can kind of get fingerprint marks on here if your hands are sweaty but that square uh, cutout kind of reminds me of the google phone the google pixel 5 or something and then that caught that it's like a raspberry colored power button i don't know if you could see that looks really cool it just stands out from the rest of the phone it was a nightmare so fingerprint is on the back of here and uh so far this does look pretty cool as far as the overall phone i'm going to go into camera real quick and let's see what it does when it when i do take a photo right here i'm gonna take this photo of this guy and then I'm gonna take a photo of this guy right here in portrait. And then, then this one is kind of in low light over here. So I'll put all three of those shots up and then I'll just take a picture of my face and go through some of the camera settings as well. So this is a portrait shot, how it would look in the nighttime or like low light or whatever. So let's just take a look at how that looks. Um, actually pretty good detail it did show that i had to get got bitten right here by a bug on my neck so that's kind of crazy and then you could kind of get the details on that right this is the low light shot and that came out pretty good really good a lot of details on this thing even on the the, the weapon and the arm also um, it did a pretty good decent job capturing all the details on this guy right here, you can see the dust particles and stuff. And even this one is like a really good photo. Crystal clear quality under light, under ideal light conditions. So that's really cool. Let's go back. So this is pretty much the, the Revel 4 Plus from T-Mobile. I got it renewed. You can get it. I'll leave a cheap link so you can see where you can pick it up. But... It's honestly pretty cool. Let's see if there's any accounts added on here. There's no accounts added on here. But um, it does have a smart manager system right here, which is pretty cool. So uh, you can auto start app, battery percentage right there, and free up memory. So this device is pretty much ready to go right out of the, right out of the box. Everything is pretty much straightforward on here. They have some T-Mobile apps like a T-Mobile app on here. They have Hotspot app, Google apps. And then that's pretty much it. Everything else is this T-Mobile, there's two T-Mobile apps and then everything else is pretty much Google applications on here. But um, definitely like the size of this device, how it feels in the hand, fingerprint sensor is on board. I'm gonna set up a fingerprint and my face ID inside of security. So you could hit face key and you do have to set up like a pin for the first time. So let's do that part. So this is what it would look like. It's asking me to scan my face. And that happened really quickly, as you can see right there. And it says you could go ahead, just turn on the face ID. So when I lock the display, and look at it, it automatically unlocks. And that's really responsive. So I'm um, so far I'm liking this device, right? It does have, um, for the processing chip, we're gonna get into it in pretty much in the next video, I'll show you how that is, but 665, 11 nanometer processing chip. So it's the same one that we got on the Moto G devices, the Moto G um, stylus, but you know, 1080 by 30, as well for the camera it doesn't i don't think it has 4k on here let's go to video image stabilization you get on here let's turn that around
Oh, you get 4K on this device as well. 4K on here as well. You can change the storage to internal or external depending if you have an SD card. And a lot of cool features on this. I'm kind of looking forward to trying this out, testing out the cameras, because this definitely looks like a cool device to play around with. We get 10 times zoom on the camera as well. Has a nice vibration when you do that video, we get 10 times as well. And we also do get, let's see if there's any zoom on the portrait. There's no zoom on the portrait, but you can control the aperture right here on the camera. That's really cool that, that they let you do that. And then you get a beauty effects on here so you can actually right make there. your face different. But I'm, I'm impressed with the, I'm impressed with the picture quality on this thing. Wow, 16 megapixel in the front and rear. That's crazy. Let's go into text messages and kind of just type something out with the see the emojis on here. So they have some, not all of the emojis. They don't have every single new one, but they do have a majority of them on here. So, you know, that's pretty cool. But let me know what you guys think about the Revel 4. You know what I'm saying? This does have feature a lot of cool things. Bluetooth 5.0. It's about 130 bucks right now. 5,000 milliamp hour. Well, actually the battery on here, let me see. Um, yeah, 4,000 milliamp hour battery on here, but definitely think this device is still pretty cool. I'm gonna check this out in a little bit more detail. Try to get it up to date and everything like that. And that facial ID is pretty quick, but it has the rear fingerprint right here too. But I'm gonna get right back with you guys and uh, be in the comment section to answer your questions and I'll check you guys later. But if you found this video helpful, subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this and hit the like button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.